I'm just getting stuff ready. Um, I see a couple of people are watching, but nobody's joined up. I mean, joined in the chat. That's fine. I'm just going to grab a couple more things. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Vicki. I'm glad y'all are here. I was trying to find something to use as roll-off paper. I can't find my wipe-off book. And um, most of my roll-off papers I'm making into, um, into painting papers. So, hi, Ruth. This is a, a volcano and some trucks. I don't know if they're trying to put the fire out from the volcano or what but my son drew this when he was five and I've been holding on to it and I've decided I want to paint the back of it and turn it into a journal he wanted to throw it away but I want to I want to keep his work I'm not sure how to do it but I can't do it this big so it may end up being a zine or something I don't know I got to figure out some way to keep it but um but I decided I would use the back of it for uh for roll off papers. I'm painting the envelopes for my painty paper swap tonight. I'm hoping that I can send those papers out tomorrow. So I've already received papers from two of my swap partners, so I've got to get with it. <laughs> Whew. I'm glad y'all are here. It's been a long day. I've been doing a lot of stuff, getting a lot of stuff done. I've got a video made, but I don't have it uploaded yet where I was making some finishing off my painty papers. And um, for people who don't have jelly plates, I decided to do, do the last part of it without the, without a jelly plate so that they could um, some people, I had somebody and I can't remember who it was say they couldn't <clears throat> they couldn't join the swap because they didn't have a jelly plate and um i just think that's sad so <laughs> oh hi becky i'm glad you're here sorting things into little glass jars oh my goodness i have so many things i need to put up after today the rest of my week is going to be dedicated to trying to straighten things up in here it is such a mess um, hi, Danny. Hi, Sharon. I'm glad y'all are here. So, um, yeah, color can be added in any way. That's what I thought. And I thought we had done, you know, between all of us, we've done enough videos that people wouldn't feel like they had to have a jelly plate, a jelly plate to be part of the swap. But, um, but I had, I saw a couple of people mention somewhere that they didn't join because they didn't have a jelly plate. And I just decided maybe they need to be told one more time. You don't have to have a jelly plate to make pretty painty papers. So anyway, um, so that's what I did this afternoon. And as soon as we get through here, I'll kind of go through and check that. Um, the last couple of videos I've made, the sound has been horrible. And I think I finally figured out why. Um, I have my... Um, my thing set 
where it uses the webcam, the um, Logitech instead of the one on my computer. But for some reason, the audio had switched back to the audio on my laptop rather than the audio coming from the Logitech. And the audio on my laptop, I have to sit and stare straight at it in order for it to pick up. And so um, I think that's what my problem was. Hopefully it's fixed. Uh, do things sound okay to you? Hi, Laura. Yay. Me, I, I got my papers finished today too, Laura. I'm fixing to do envelopes. And I'm going to do that till 7.30. And then at 7.30, we'll go ahead and do our pick 10. I've decided to have a specific time when I start the pick 10. And that way, if people are late, they know that they have till 7.30 and they can still join in easy. So anyway, let's work on some um, painting envelopes. Because I'm, I had fun this afternoon, but, um, but I'm ready to get back to the jelly plate. <laughs> Down to the dregs here. This is my this is my funnest thing to do. <laughs> I love all the stuff that I that I do, but for some reason the paint the jelly plate's my favorite. Okay. I was playing with my truck. Um I bought this truck a long time I don't know, months ago. But I threw it down in my toy box and totally forgot about it until I saw Janet's post. So I was having a lot of fun playing with it um, this afternoon on papers that were not on the jelly plate. So I'm going to um, I'm going to have fun with it on the jelly plate, too. I can tell. I made kind of a plaid. And it looks to me like it looks like zippers to me. You can hear it. It needs some oil. It's, it's squeaking. <laughs> brum, brum. Brum, brum. <laughs> uh, now, I, when the kids were little and we played cars, I was always zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom, they would say. Zoom, zoom. <laughs> Thank you, Ruth. I, I can't remember if I said hi to you or not. I'm glad you're here. I always think I've said hi to people, and then I'm always afraid that maybe I haven't. Uh-oh. I have done that so many times today. Okay, let's pull this up and see see what we got. That looks fun, doesn't it? Doesn't it look like zippers? <laughs> um, I like it. Now we need to hang it up to dry. And then we'll come back and do the back side of it. Oh, we got to pick that up with something. We can't waste that. Mm. If you don't get this on there just right, you have extra over here, not enough over here. It's just Got to be on there perfect to pick up everything. <laughs> that turned out pretty cool. Let's 
go ahead though and see if we can pick this up. There we go. So now we got a bordered um, deli paper. And I'm just going to lay this on there and pick up whatever's left. Hi, Lisa Elaine. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Janet. I'm playing with my truck. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to something else here. I hope I can stay on the whole time tonight and do all the things I've got planned. I'm really, my back is really bothering me today. We'll see. We'll do, we'll go as far as we can. I got me some wheels. I actually have had these wheels for months. But I totally forgot about them until I saw your post. And I was like, hey, somewhere down in the bottom of my toy box, I have some of those. And I dug around under all my other junk and sure enough, found them. So here's another one that's almost empty. Um, okay, let's. I think I'm going to do the. that gift bag since I with just this one color let me find it here put my hand right on top of that jelly print okay Let's see if we can pull up some of this on this deli paper. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is looking really pretty too. All right, let's put an envelope on here. Let's put this on like this. I meant to, <laughs> I forgot that I was going to do, um, work on my painty paper books um covers today i've got stuff ready for that too well I'll just sit and relax lisa maybe your back will get you feeling better i hope Okay, that didn't turn out quite as pretty as I wanted it to. But it's better than a plain envelope, I guess. And that's what's important is we're trying to just do something that's prettier than a plain envelope. So, oh. Now, let's do... We're going to do several greens on this one. 
No. And we'll add a little bit of this metallic phthalo green to it. Oh, that's quite a bit. Those, the different kinds of um, containers squeeze out differently. <laughs> you get used to using one and then you pick up another one and you make a mess or overdo it. Okay, let's um, let's do this on here. I want to try to make them all different. <laughs> I don't know if I picked up enough that it's going to actually show up or, you know, a print or not. We'll see. Sorry, if you can hear my dog barking out there. He's he has been in and out, in and out all day. He can't decide if he wants to be he wants to be in here with me, but he's bored in here, so he wants to go where the rest of the family is, but then he wants to be out here with me, and it's just this round robin. Oh, hi Ruby. I'm glad you're here. Hi Sue. I missed y'all. Sorry about that. Hi, Holly. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I have not done a video of my art space. And um, I'm not doing one today. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's like a little room shaped like this. And all around it is tables and bookshelves and stuff. And then everything's piled on it. So... There's you a, a visual um, idea of what it looks like. <laughs> right now, it's just a mess. Um, I am hoping that I'll be able to... Um, well, you can see the flowers a little bit. Not as much as I was hoping for, though. I'm hoping to get it cleaned up this week, and then maybe next Monday, um, during the live stream, I can, um, I can walk you all through it and let you see. But not right now. It is a um, it's a room off of off of the garage. It was um, it was part of a little apartment when the house was built. This little tiny apartment was built in the back of it um, off of the garage. And I think it was just about a two room thing. But um, the other room has fallen, fell down probably 30 years ago or more. And this one, my mom and my now stepfather, um, he came over as a friend after his wife had passed away a few, a couple of years before. And my dad had passed away about five or six years before. And he came over to help her um, shore this one up. It was just built on dirt. There was no, 
um, no foundation. So they put a foundation under it and they did a lot of work. My son did a lot of work helping them. It was really cool. But, um, but they went from being friends who've known each other forever to falling in love and getting married, building this room for me. So, <laughs> so it's, it's, it's got a cool story behind it, but it's just, it's just a nine by 14, uh, little room out here. Um, and it's connected to the garage, but there's no door between the two. It's, it's got a separate door, but it is connected to the garage. Anyway, it's, um, it's a nice little place. I really like it, but I've got to, I have too many hobbies and all my hobby stuff is out here. So, um, no, it's okay to be nosy. Um, it, I'm, I'm happy that it's not connected to the house in a lot of ways because, um, because it can get messy like this and I don't have to feel bad about it. Um, until I just can't stand it anymore. And then I straighten it all up and I get it all perfect and love it. And then I start pulling stuff out for uh, projects and it becomes a big mess again. I, it wasn't that long ago. It was like, I guess it was in November and December. I got it all cleaned up and I put away everything that was weaving and spinning because I haven't done that in a while. And I thought I just going to get that put up. And then I decided to get out um, my weaving and spinning stuff and start doing that again. And so now I've got just a big mess again. A doggy door would be great, but our dog is big enough. If we had a doggy door, a full-size human could get through it. <laughs> well, a skinny full-size human. Um, but it would be nice to have a doggy door for him. One out here and one in the house, and he could just go back and forth and be happy. But <laughs> um, I do. I usually watch live streams in the living room and um, sitting in my recliner, and so. If I'm if I'm doing something during a live stream, it's usually harvesting magazines or just doing collage and things like that. I don't usually um, play along during the live stream because Monday nights is my time out in the studio away from my husband. And the rest of the week, I want to be in there with him. Um, but I want to still watch the live streams. So anyway, it's one of those things that um, that's why I don't usually play along. Okay, let's see if I can pull up some more of this. Um, it's one of these kind of papers that I'm using for my um for my cover for my painting um painting paper books. But maybe I'll build that next week on the live stream. Yeah. Well, I have a daughter who's very creative. And so she has stuff all over the house. Hi, Renee. I'm glad you're here. And I've got, I've got boxes, several, like 10 boxes of harvested images in my dining room because they won't fit out here in the studio but harvesting images from old books and magazines and things is one of my favorite things to do and um when i wasn't feeling good a couple of years ago i spent a lot of time doing that now i need to use all those things or i need to give them away or sell them or something if any of you want a box of <laughs> see the problem is they're heavy so um, you'd have to pay for one of those shipping boxes. Um, but I would be glad to fill up a box for somebody if they want a box of a conglomerate of different kinds of uh, images. But they would have to pay the shipping because it's, um, I can't afford to just, I'm already, you know, going to be out all the time I spent cutting them out and stuff. But, um, but I would be glad if somebody needs some images and you can't find any and you're willing to pay shipping, I'll be glad to fix you a box full because I have a bunch, but I also need to just actually work with them, you know. <laughs> it spreads when you're not looking. That's exactly right, Vicki. It sure does. Especially when you've got more than one person doing multiple kinds of creating. And my daughter... Um, she loves weaving and spinning also, and she also likes um, 
drawing and painting and making books. And so she has a lot of her supplies and jewelry making. She's got all kinds of supplies. And so it's um, between the two of us, we, we can fill up a lot of space. My husband has a recliner <laughs> in the living room. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> um, okay, I need to do some kind of texture on this. Let me see what I want to do. I want to do something that'll be pretty. Oh, I should have got some stuff out instead of... Let's see if we can do some lace. Okay, let's put this over it. Now I've got to put something on top of it to try to pull up um, some of the paint so the lace part will show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my husband's got his woodworking stuff, and he doesn't get to play with it a whole lot. Um, but he's got that out in the garage and it's not nearly as nice a space as what I've got in here. And I feel guilty about that sometimes, but Ooh, I think that's going to be pretty. I think it's going to be pretty. Okay, let's, let's pull this off another. I'm getting that green all over my hands because it's not dry up here on the top. But Okay. I got to work faster. I thought I was going to get all six of these envelopes ready. Ooh, I like that one. We're going to do another one of those. <coughs> I thought I was going to get all six of these envelopes ready before 7.30 so we could go to the pick 10 right away, but... So far, I'm not doing so great at that. Oh, come on. A little more. A little more. Yes, it was lace, Tanya. Um, welcome. <laughs> it was uh, from a shirt. Let me, this is the lace. I have a whole bunch of different ones. And um, sometimes I only play with lace. And sometimes, um, you know, mix it in with other things. But You have to put on a little more paint when you're working with lace because it soaks up some of the paint. But it sure is fun. All right, let's do this. I, I've got some new lace somewhere I wanted to try, but I probably am going to do a video, a whole video just of working with lace and show all the different... Kinds. I tell you, the thrift store is great for this because there's tons of these shirts that um, might not be something you'd want to wear necessarily, but they make great um, make great images on the jelly plate. Okay. 
pull that up. Let's put this one down and see what we get off of it. Hi, Mitzi. Hi, Franna. I'm glad y'all are all here. I just love these ones where the frames are all weaving over the top of each other. Ooh, that looks pretty too. Alrighty. Let me take down. I got a, some painted papers I was doing earlier up here and they're taking up space that I need for these. All right, one more front. Whew. Oh, don't be nervous, Mitzi. We're going to love, everybody's going to love them. I, everybody's papers are different and that's what makes them so cool. That's what makes them so cool. Okay, let's see what else. Okay, I think I'm going to do ah! one with this. I'm sorry. Like I said, everything's in piles. Okay, move these stencils. No, I think I'm going to use this stencil. Instead of that one. Well, I can do this on the back of some of them. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and use the um, use the leaves. And let's do some. Let's see if we can get out enough more gold to do gold and bronze. I mean, gold and copper. If I can't, I'll add bronze. I just don't like the bronze as much as I like the gold. That is all that's going to come out. Okay. And let's add some copper. I love the gold and copper together for leaves. Okay. I'm sorry, this table's always squeaking. Just noticed I got something good thing on my brayer. Okay. Okay. 
There's that one. I like that one. Ooh, I think that's my favorite one so far. Thank you. Hi, Mark. I'm glad you're here. Um, are y'all willing to take the time to do the other sides of them before we move on to doing the pick 10? Or do you want to um, stop this? and Hi, Gilly. And start the pick 10 in, the, in four minutes like I had planned. Um, Hi, Sarah. Hi, Kathy. So keep going. Everybody's okay with me to keep going and do the other side of these paper, these envelopes. Hi, Nancy. Okay, well, I'm going to keep going then because that will really help me a lot to be able to get these out tomorrow. Okay. I think this is the first one we did with my little truck. <laughs> Although to me, it looks like zippers instead of car tracks. So now we need to do something different on the other side. I think I'm going to do leaves. Maybe I'll put something behind this and see if I can pull up these leaves on here. Um, Let's do that. What would be good to put behind them? Let's try see if we can get enough of this PBO out here to, since we're using everything up, we might as well. Okay. See if we can get that to pull up on the. on the envelope. Alrighty. I'm going to have to be kind of careful when I press down on this side because of that metal thing. But I think if I'm careful, it'll be fine. Oops, my hands are all, all painty. Okay, let's see what we get here. Oh no, I tore it. Well, it's hard for me to see if I can get it at an angle you can see. You can see the the leaves, they're kind of brown underneath and it's really prettier um, in person than it is on the screen I'm going to see if I can get this open I'll just I'll just glue that back it'll be or tape it back it'll be fine okay that's a good idea I just didn't want to get um I didn't want to have a weird non-colored spot there, but obviously that was not the way to do it. Yeah, it didn't hurt the plate, but it just tore right there. Let me find a little piece of washi tape. Oh. <laughs> of course the one I want on the bottom I'm not a huge black and white fan so um, 
I'll use this. It's okay. It's not, I mean, I don't dislike it. It's just not, when I use washi tape, I generally want color. Okay. Oh, I meant to pull up that frame with something. And it may be, it may be stuck there now. Let it dry. Oh, I got some of it off. Okay. And I just dropped some papers. But they went under the cart, so I'm not going to worry about them. If I had opened it to begin with, then this would side would have been painted. I want it painted. <laughs> I'll try to remember that, Tanya. Send you some washi tape, maybe. Okay. Um, what's on this? Okay, this is the lace. Okay. I'm going to do this is Master's Touch Acrylic. I got it at the thrift store. And I'm going to do that. I'm trying to remember oh, what I was going to put down there. I think I'm going to put some of these. Um, that back off so I don't slide it around okay lay this one down I'm running out of these big sheets of paper. I wish I had some more of them. So I, I guess I'll have to get out my roll of craft paper. It's just these stay flat so much easier. You can you can't really see the wallpaper unless you look really close because of the leaves. But um, it's interesting. It's not it's not boring. I guess that's a good thing. Let me open this up so I can hang it. Okay, this is the third one. And I'm going to 
put some of this. some of this copper All right, I'm going to do these leaves again for the back of this one. Oh, I lost chat. Are y'all still here? No, I did not find the ribbon. They were out at the yesterday, and I didn't have a chance to go anywhere today. Um, I'm hoping I'll get a chance to go tomorrow and look at a different Dollar Tree. That's a great idea to use them for borders, Janet. I like making the zigzaggy. Okay. Oops. I forgot to put tape over my thing. Hopefully this one won't tear. I'm going very gently right there where it's at. Okay. Oh, goodness. Look at that. I love that. That's true. Um, I didn't do it that way to begin with because you know how the hard these are to get to lay down to begin with. I'll do that for the rest of them. Thank you, Becky. Okay. Here's this one. I think I'm going to put the where did I put it? I'm going to put this on the other side of it. I don't know how much of that will show up from this. But, oops. Let's see if we can get some of this off. Need to start doing them the other direction. Okay. Pulled up some more of that. Colors is this? We well, want our other flowers to be. Let's do. We'll do some different reds and see if.
I, I want to use this paint up too. This kind of red and orange. Here's another red. Let's add it. Not sure on the screen. You can even tell if there's a lot of difference between them, but. I keep losing the chat. I don't know what's going on. I, I signed up for their um, uh, their newsletter or whatever, and they'll send you an email every week, Mark. But yeah, there are a million things to try. And I haven't tried them all, even though I've been getting those emails for a long time. Oh, that wasn't intended. Okay. It'd be fun to have a jelly plate retreat like they have those scrapbook retreats. <laughs> I would love that. Okay, let's. There we go. This one got kind of bent when I pulled it up, and so. here and that turned out pretty two more oh, two more and then we'll go on to our pick 10 let me pull up some of this Oh, uh, wouldn't that be fun, Becky? It would be so much fun. Just all be in a big table and just pass stuff around and everybody use it. That would just be so much fun. Okay. This one is a lace one. So we want something different than lace on the back of it. I think I'll use the... the um, no, I'm going to do these last two with with this yeah that's what i'm going to do and let's see what what color do i want this is all reds with a little bit of that phthalo green so i think i'm going to use the phthalo green for this one Thank you. 
put that down. And what am I going to put over the top of it? Let's do this. Oh, it tore right there. <laughs> it's all right. What I'm really wanting to do is get off some stuff for... I'll have to come back in with a... Um, with a sheet of deli paper anyway, so... up there. Put this down here. Oh, I didn't have that quite ready. I forgot I had this. See what we get on the back of this. Oh, pull that up before I make a mess. That looks pretty cool. There's the back of that one. I like that. Okay. We've got one more to do the back of. Let me go ahead and get this one ready. And I'll have all six of them ready to go. Hi, Barbara. I'm glad you're here. Okay, everybody's excited for Janet, and I need to know what's going on, because I want to be excited, too. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go back up and look and see what we're all excited about. Oh, you got a webcam. Cool. So we're going to have videos now, Janet? Yes, yes, please. <laughs> Yay. I'm so excited. Tell your son, we all said thank you very much. <laughs> He's now one of our best friends. <laughs> she got a bag of potatoes. Well, Mark, we know that in your book, that is a good thing. So, <laughs> oh, so your webcam doesn't come with a mic built in? Um. You might check that out because my webcam came with a microphone just built into it. Check that and see what you think. See if that might be true. Okay. Um, okay, one more thing on here.
I'm trying to decide what I, I think I want to do some more of the um, the painty car tracks. <laughs> we'll see if we can get some of this grunge up with it too. That'd be fun. Okay, this one is copper and gold. So we'll do. We'll use this blue. Um, what is it called actually? Thalo turquoise behind this green. Let's see if we can get um, all right. Oops. Okay. I'm going to put it kind of over here and see if we can pull up some yummy stuff on it. I keep losing the chat. I don't know what's going on. Okay, let's see what we got here. There we go. I like that. Alrighty, there's six. Oh, I need to let's do let's just use this. Thank you, Ruby. I'm pleased with them. And the nice thing was that um, I just was able to get something that I like with just one pull on each side instead of having to do multiple layers. So they'll be less likely for the paint to chip off and stuff like that. So that's cool. Okay. I need to put this away. I think that's still wet. Let me see if I can pull up some more. Somewhere I've got a, another deli paper. I only have like 800 left or something, you know, because I bought a thing that's had a thousand in it. <laughs> so I'm not running low on deli papers. If anybody needs deli paper, if you don't have any and you want some in your happy mail or in your swap or something like that, let me know and I'll I'll stick some in. Okay. All right, where's my 
cover thing. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. You can see my mess I made today while I was making my non jelly printed painty papers. Okay, Sharon, I'll send you some. I'm glad I asked today because I'm sending your um, your painty papers out tomorrow. So that'll work good. Yay. You know, God cares about the little things too. Because if I hadn't thought to ask that tonight, I wouldn't have been able to know that you needed some. So that's cool. All right, let me see if I can get over to where my board is. Oh, dear. Am I going to knock everything over? For my pick 10 that I'm going to do. Oh, where is it? Okay. Here we go. Yes, I did say deli papers. I was saying that I have about 800 deli papers and I'd be glad to send somebody some if um, in a swap or something if they're um, if they need some and Sharon said she needed some. Do you need some, Tanya? Okay, let me write this down because I don't want to forget. Okay. Where's my pen? Okay. Okay, Mitzi, Laura, Mark, do any of you need some jelly, I mean, some deli papers? I can stick them in your um, penny papers since y'all are my partners. And Jerry Bellini, but I don't think she's here. I could give her some too if she needs some. I'm going to wait just a second and see if Mark or Mitz or Laura need any. So I can write them down. Okay. Oh, well, bye-bye. Hey, if your hubby's cooking, you need to go eat. That's cool. Yeah, these are 12 by 12, the ones I have. Um, they have a, they do have a, a different size. Yeah. And Mark's there. <laughs> okay. Good. All right. Mitzi and Laura, y'all don't need any deli papers? Just ask. They may have already left. I don't know. I was not looking at the chat for a while. Bye-bye, Sharon. Have a yummy supper. Oh, cool, Becky. Thimbles are not easy to find. Okay, let me try to get some of this off my hands, and then we'll start the pick 10. Where did I put the box? Here it is. Okay. Well, um, you can collage it into things. It makes great collage paper, um, but it's really, really good for cleaning off your your um, jelly plate because it, it pulls up a lot of stuff that other paper won't pull up. And then you can take those um, those deli papers that you pulled off and use them in collage. Uh, let me show you a few that I've done. Um, 
Katie, so you can see what I'm talking about. We did a few tonight, but um, I send at least one deli paper, you know, already painty in all of my swaps. So I've been, so I've made some, but this is one we did tonight. And um, you can add a lot more layers, but this is another one. And here's another one. And I just did these cleaning stuff off and trying to get stuff out around a stencil. If you want to make it really, um, the print of the stencil really show up good, then you can use deli paper to get the extra paint off. That's what that one was. Here's some I did. Um, oops, they fly around really much though. That one's nothing special. It's just, but it is a something I pulled on deli paper. So you can just use them to pull off extra paint. Or I use this one to get the print around a lace. So it's just another kind of painty paper. These were just pulling up extra stuff. Um, this one I did from that, um, gift bag. And then let me find the other ones. Here's some more. These I had set aside to put in my, um, swap deals. So y'all may end up getting more than one. That one was just partial. But you can do cool stuff with them, collage type stuff. This is just wax paper that I used as a palette. But it would be fun to collage down too. So, does that help, Katie? Mm. Well, I used some a little bit um, around over a stencil and stuff when I was doing my painty papers this afternoon that I didn't use the jelly plate for. And so... Um, they're not as useful if you don't have a jelly plate. The, they're really, really, really useful on the jelly plate. But um, but you could just um, paint them for fun and, and you know, just like you were painting any other paper and then use them as collage. They just kind of disappear. You know, the paper itself kind of disappears when you collage it like napkins, like white napkins do, kind of like that. Mitzi? Um, did you hear me say I could send some deli paper if you need it? I don't know if you, you probably have some since you're telling her to look at Amazon, but, um, I'm just, since I'm sending out my swaps tomorrow, I thought I would send anybody that I'm swapping with deli paper if they need it. This is the, um, the third one that I'm doing. Uh, my pick 10 on for um <clears throat> now our sam's club doesn't have it either tanya but okay pick 10 tonight is the third i'm doing four of these that i'm not doing in a book i'm doing on the the paper so I can make my um, my artist trading coins for the swap in October. I'm This way I can have backgrounds ready for that. I'll show you the other two that I've done the last two weeks. I did this one with a black background. And then I did this one for fall. And um, I would love to do this one with a winter theme. But I don't know if that'll work out or not. Uh, 
Okay. Well, I'll send you some that I played on for sure. I'm going to always send a couple of those in, but um, yeah, you can use tracing paper. It's just not quite as thin, but it's kind of similar. I, I am completely clueless. Mark, are you being bad? If you're being bad, stop. <laughs> okay, pick 10. Woohoo! All right, Holly, I'm with you. Everybody ready? Sherry, um, those deli papers weigh practically nothing. So I'll stick some in a in a uh, envelope and send them to you. I don't mind doing that. Oh, it was Lisa. It wasn't you, Mark. Okay. But I'll send some to you, Sherry. I don't mind. I can just put them in an envelope. It won't cost a lot to send a few because they don't weigh hardly anything. So let me write that down so I won't forget. Oh, you're very welcome. Ready, 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 Ruby says. Okay, how many people are going to play along tonight? And Lisa Elaine is ready. It was not Lisa. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore it. I'm just going to ignore it. We're just going to move on, whatever it was. Okay. So we've got. Lisa and Becky and Kimberly and Kathy and Holly and Ruth and Danny and Linda and Sarah. Did I miss anybody? Ruby. So at least 10. Okay. Y'all are going to have to help me remember if everybody's ready. Okay. Number one. Number one says use colored pencils. Um, I understand, Mitzi. Um, when I... When I'm watching live streams, I can't usually play along either. I have to do it later if I'm going to do it. Okay, use colored pencils. That's number one. I'm trying to remember where I put my colored pencils. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Well, I know I have them, and I know they're out here somewhere. Vicki, I'm glad you're here. We're on prompt number one. Use colored pencils. If you want to play along, we'd love for you to. Let's see what these are. Nope. <clears throat> Those are watercolor stuff. <clears throat> oh, I wonder where they are. Okay. 
I forgot. I put them in a bag and took them up to the hospital with me. And they were still in that bag. Okay. So let's see. Oh, well, that's cool. I'd love to see. Uh, we'd love to see your the bathrobe. That'd be fun. I'm going to try to do as much blue and white as I can tonight because um, I would like to make this one have snowflakes on it for my for the swap. Is that blue or purple? That's purple. There's a blue. I need some really dark blues. Where are my dark blues? Everything looks purple to me tonight. Maybe it's my eyes. They're easier to find when I've got them in a bucket or something. No, those are purple. There's a dark blue. Okay. <laughs> I bet you're going to do great. Yes, take a picture so we can see it. Okay. I'm just going to kind of scribble in. It doesn't say you have to draw something with them. Yeah, it is. Um, it's what happens when you you buy a lot of stuff, cheap brands of things. At <laughs> some of these were at thrift stores, and some of them were just. Um, I do have a few Prismacolor pencils, but most of them are cheaper brands of pencils. But. Um, But I would have rather have more colors and cheaper brands than have a few really good ones and get addicted to those really good ones and not be able to afford to buy any more. <laughs> okay. It would be. If my paper was thinner, that would work really well. But I have I have this really hard or a thick paper here. That would be fun. Some of y'all need to listen to Janet and do that.
I'm going to use up all of them. <laughs> Some of these are kind of the same color, so. <coughs> Goodness, excuse me. Well, obviously, y'all are going to be waiting on me. I still got lots of blue pencils to do. Grief, I'm so sorry. Sorry, I'm so slow, y'all. Okay, I'm going to let that be good enough. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, I'm sure y'all are all ready. Um, is everybody ready? <coughs> Hi, Arlene. 
I'm glad you're here. Well, I'm glad y'all weren't waiting on me. Okay, everybody's done. Next one. Prompt number two. Oh, 11. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to skip this one because it says use watercolor pencils. Unless y'all just want to. But since we just use colored pencils, it seems kind of redundant. Y'all okay to skip that one? Okay. <clears throat> I just need somebody to confirm. This one says scribble. My goodness, I just did that. Um. <laughs> okay, I can scribble with something else. Do y'all want to scribble? Let's scribble for number two. Unless all of you scribbled like I did. But I can scribble with something else. Yes, skip it or yes, do it. Okay, let's just scribble with something else. Okay. Okay, I don't know if this will scribble over it, but I'm going to use these Sharpies. And I'm going to write. Um, let's stick that down there. Oh, i got to let the dog in. Just a second. Come on, bud. Yeah, go lay down. Lay down. can't see my scribbles because I'm doing it in the same color, but I scribbled, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, because I'm ready. And we didn't get hardly any snow last year. I think we got like one inch. Okay. Okay, Becky's ready and I'm ready. I don't mind waiting, but um, so don't feel like you have to rush just because I got finished quickly, but it didn't take me long to scribble. Okay, while we're waiting on the last few people, I have a question for you. I'm contemplating letting my hair dye grow out, not coloring my hair anymore. Um, I've wanted to do this for a while, but I don't want to go through the stage of the letting it grow out stage. <laughs> but I think I'm at the place now where I'm ready to go ahead and do it. 
Um, ha have any of you been through this where you colored your hair and then it went gray and then you finally decided to stop? Anybody have an idea of how long it takes? I mean, my hair grows like this much a month. So it's it's gonna, it feels like it's going to take a long time ago. Yeah, and your hair's so pretty, Becky. I love it like it is. In fact, um, you and Tanya uh, um, are giving me the courage to do it because I love, I love you all with your pretty white hair. Um, but, but I dyed mine for so, I mean, my hair was going gray when I was 30. And so, so I started dying it then, but, um, well, a lot of you've never dyed it. Good for you. And don't ever do it <laughs> because once you do it, you kind of stuck with it for a while, unless you're wear a hat. Yeah. But I hate hats, but I'm thinking about, um, doing something. I told my son when I was at the store, I saw that they have a silver hair color. I could just dye it silver and then let it grow out. And he said, no, mom, that would just be too harsh of a change. Just let it grow out a little bit at, at um, a little bit at a time. You know, I asked them, I asked my kids, would they be embarrassed to be seen with me if I had this gray streak in my hair as it's growing out? <laughs> uh. Yeah, well, I thought about dyeing it gray, but, um, well, I am my beautician, Linda. I'm too cheap to to have a beautician gradually work it in. I just color it myself, and so, um, and I, I do know people who are doing that, who are having their beautician gradually work it in, and it looks really great that way, and it's not a, you know, it's not a problem. Um, thank you, Hannah. I, I did once, um, I thought I'm just going to, I found this stuff that says it takes all the color out, but it only takes out like the last 10. Um, I'd have to cut it really short and then use that. And I, I did use it and my hair was white and then it had this just bright orange. Um, <laughs> it was awful. <laughs> So I just went right back in there and colored it again because that was terrible. So um, anyway, I'm going to need some encouragement if I'm going to do this because it's not going to be easy for me to do that. Okay, is everybody ready? Everybody's ready. Okay, let's move on. Let's stop talking about hair color. Okay, it says use paint or gesso with your fingers. Paint or gesso with your fingers. All righty. And I'm not sure which one I want to do. Paint or gesso. I think I may do some, some of both maybe. Yeah, Linda, that's, um, that is one way to look at it. But it, And I'm sure that if I could find it, a way to put it in the budget. My husband would be fine with me spending the money on that to get me through this, you know, place. But, um, but I'm not sure that, um, I would have to give up crafty stuff in order to do it. And I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I wanted to do it. Um, beautician wise that badly. Let me find some white paint. Well, I know I have some somewhere. Oh. There we go. Thank you, Vicki. I saw a trailer for a documentary that somebody's doing about women who are going gray and just, you know, um, being happy about it in they're being proud of it and letting, you know, letting the color just dangle at the ends and all of that. And, um, I don't know that I'm into making it a badge of courage, but, <laughs> but I will have to, I will have to be courageous in order to do it. Oh, 
Okay, how am I going to put this on? Oh, with my fingers, I forgot. Okay. I was about to try to figure out how to how to put it on. Well, my husband told me one time before when I asked him about it, he goes, I'll just shave your head and, and then you you everything that grows out will be great. It'll be real easy. <laughs> he says, you'll be beautiful even with a shaved head. <laughs> and I think he was more... Um, he has more belief in my beauty than I do, evidently, because I'm not ready to just shave my head. <laughs> it would be fast that way. It would be done. You wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. But Let's put a little bit more in here. Well, I'm glad that a lot of you have made the decision not to dye it. Um, and if I waited, oh my goodness, just jump at my lap. If I, if my wasn't, you know, if I hadn't gone gray so early, I probably would have done that too, because I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't wear a lot of makeup or any of that kind of stuff. Um, but I was already marrying a man who was nine years younger than me. I didn't want to, people think I was his mom. So, so I colored my hair and then when my son was born I was um I was 35 and I I didn't color my hair while I was pregnant with him because um I didn't want to take any chances on doing something you know that was bad for him um and when he was about six or seven months old we went to the store and the girl at the store said oh is that your grandson he's so cute and I was like, no, he's my son. And I went back and colored my hair again. <laughs> I wish now I had let it go at that point, but it was just too gray, too early. But I have some friends who've been gray as long as I've known them. And it always just looked normal on them, you know. Um, because I didn't know them before they were gray and they were gray in their thirties, but well, I'm liking this so far. Well, I wish I'd had the courage just to let it be when I was 30, but I I didn't. Oh, that feels so nice. Okay. I think I'm done. Now I have to just clean my hand. <laughs> I have very, very thin hair too, Sherry. It's not long um, because it's too thin to, to let it grow long. But I worry that, you know, one of the reasons I go ahead and keep coloring, it's because it's like when, when it goes gray right at my scalp, it feels like like it looks like it's even thinner. And um, so I've just kept on coloring it. But but I'm I'm through with that now. I think I'm ready to just be me. So what colors are yours, Holly? If it looks like silly string and confetti, that would be interesting. Well, 
Well, that's cool, Arlene. Yeah, menopause will do that, Sherry. Mine, mine's always been thin and fine, but it's like half as much as it used to be now. Oh, maybe she's talking about her page. <laughs> okay. I thought she was talking about her hair. I thought maybe she had some really colorful hair. Hi, Linda. My mother has beautiful white hair. Um, well, it's kind of a silvery gray, but it's getting whiter except right at the nape of her neck and it's still black right there and she wears it really short so that part of the nape of her neck grows out black underneath all the white it's so pretty um i wouldn't mind having hair like hers at all of course she goes and gets her hair done every week and i i it always looks nice i'm kind of a wash and go girl so Your page, Holly. Okay. Well, I'll be interested to see it. Okay. Are we all ready? Is everybody ready? Uh, the last I see, Janet said seven were ready. Mine looks like an iceberg. <laughs> Finger painting is fun. Maybe people just don't want to stop. They just want to keep on going. It's amazing how good that feels. That feels so nice. I love it. Thanks, Janet. Well, we got seven more prompts, Kimberly. I bet we'll give it something. Well, maybe we won't get that prompt again, Holly, and you can be finished with fingerprinting on this page. <laughs> oh. Me too, Becky. I'm trying to go minimal tonight too, if I can do it. <laughs> All right, everybody's done. So now we're going to go on to the second box and we'll pick two out of it. This one says add paint with cardboard. Okay. Add paint with cardboard. We're getting a lot of painty prompts tonight. Well, we had, I guess the first one was really, the first two were pencils. The second two, that's not really bad, actually. Okay. Add paint with cardboard. I think I'm going to use some more blue, and I'm going to put it down with this. Just get some lines in here, because this is just a, a background, a big background. Um, so what blue do I want to use? I'm going to try to stick to blue and white tonight. We'll see if I can do it. All right. Let me get a... I think I'm going to do like this with the dark blue and then like this with the lighter blue. We'll see if that works out all right. And I'm not going to worry if they're not. Um, Oh, 
that one was really splotchy. And that one was too. I really got too much paint there. Now I need to make them all a little splotchy then because I probably don't need to, but I guess I'm going to since I've got some of them that are. Make some more that are. Ooh, I'm liking that. Okay, let's get some off the edges here. Okay, now I need to find a wipe off something to put the rest of that paint on. Get my painty paper book that I haven't done anything in in a while. I need to work on that. Oops. I'm going to mess up the cover of it. Okay, I'll leave that sitting here for when I do the light blue. Well, we got lots of more prompts to go, Holly. Just keep 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 the faith. Okay. Okay, I'm liking that. There's my painted paper book with my leftover paints.
Okay, what's Kathy got? The piece of cardboard that I'm using is awesome. It's the side of a thick piece. Oh, that's a cool idea. Good night, Tanya. I missed it. Sorry. Yeah, 4.30. Goodness. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not a Reader's Digest book. It's called 50 Foods, The Essentials of Good Taste. It's a book I found at the Dollar Tree. I, I found that before we started eating keto. And once we started eating keto, I got rid of all my cookbooks that were... Um, you know, bread and stuff related because I didn't want to be tempted by them. So, okay, I'm going to, um, I'm going to dry here for a minute until everybody else is done. Okay, I'll stop drying since everybody's done. Let me move this. Okay, I need to pick one more out of this one. And it says, sketch something. I don't really want to do that one. Okay, sketch something. Um, this is going to take some thinking if I'm going to stay on my topic. <laughs> Hmm, sketch something. All right, let me think. Besides having wet paint, I'm really wanting to stay blue and white. So should I sketch something in blue or sketch something in white? Um, clouds, snow pile, snowman, snowflake. Yeah, I thought about a snowflake. Um I'm trying to, but I'm not a good sketcher and sketching a snowflake. I guess I could just do the real simple one that just has the six lines coming out from the middle with the little crosses. Um, hi, Miss Allie. I'm glad you quit lurking and decided to join us. <laughs> it's really okay if you lurk, but I like knowing you're here. Okay, Lisa Elaine would like to skip this one. Would are there any would the rest of you like to skip it? We can do that if you need to. Or I can pick another one and you can choose between sketch something and the other one. How about I do that? Then everybody can choose between the two and do which one they want. Sketch something might look better after we get another one. Oh, this one says add a building. I would rather sketch something. Is that one any better, Lisa? Danny's already sketching. Okay. Some of the other plays, people say just skip it. Okay, I'm going to let you do sketch something or add a building. You can do whatever you want. And if you don't like either of those, um, then whatever you do is up to you. Yeah, I was planning to sketch in white. I think um, 
um, I may sketch with my Posca pen and make some of those first grade snowflakes. <laughs> okay, if I can remember how to do it. See, I can't make it six. <laughs> Maybe I can do better on the next one. There we go. There are very few places I can sketch because of the paint, but I'm going to sketch it in those places. Okay, let's see. Little circles inside of the cross hatching. Some of them, the cross hatchings are too close together. Although I could do a little circle in here. Maybe. Um. I don't know if I'm doing what you wanted me to, Arlene. I feel like it really needs a couple more. Okay. 
Okay, is everybody ready? Because I can stop when everybody else is ready. <laughs> oh. Only three ready. Okay, well, I'll keep going a little bit then. You'd think they would be getting better, but they're not. They're staying up pretty much the same amount of. Not great as before. Okay, Arlene, we'll be here when you get back, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to call that enough. And I'm going to dry it a little bit while we're waiting. <laughs> Okay, well, so far I'm liking mine. We'll see how I do with the other five prompts. <laughs> if I can manage to keep my theme or not. I don't usually try to have a, a real coherent theme, and so maybe it'll work out all right. Unless it says use brown. There was something else I was going to tell. Oh, um, you said you need more brown and pentagon. <laughs> I hope we don't get that prompt. <laughs> oh, Kathy and Mark need brown. <coughs> I do not need brown. <coughs> if we get it, I'm probably going to put a brown border around the edges. <laughs> Becky's already used brown. Well, maybe it'll give you something that'll give you the option to add brown. Um, in Becky's live stream that she did impromptu last night, we were talking about doing a, um, a fabric patch swap where you could put that in a journal. You could put it in any journal. It wouldn't have to be a fabric journal, but she and I are making fabric journals. And some other people said they wanted to make some um, some fabric journals. So we're going to do a swap in November in my Facebook group for a fabric patches, six by six fabric patches that you can then put in 
uh, make a little pillow or put it in a, a journal or whatever you want to do with it. Anyone who's interested, I haven't got the sign up sheet up there yet, but I do plan to do that soon. Kathy needs to tone the party on her page down. Yeah, mine's staying pretty toned down. I'm keeping mine under control so far. Now, I'm going to say so far because as soon as I say I'm keeping it under control, something will happen. But anyway, I hope a bunch of you will want to do it with us. I think that'll be fun. It's just going to be a one-on-one -on -one swap. You just swap with one person. Um, unless, I guess I could give you the option to do more than one if you want to. But whatever kind of fabric you want, Mitzi. Um, you can use anything you want. You can make it um, something that's like a, a collage or you can make it just a bunch of laces or flowers or whatever you want to do. It just, just something, just work with fabric. That's the only requirement. Six by six, something that they can glue down or sew down into a book. Um, so you can use any kind of fabric you want. It, um, it doesn't ha have any kind of a theme, just something that you like. So that you're, when your um, swap partner puts it in their book, they'll they'll remember you when they see it. So I think it will be fun, Sherry. I hope that you'll join us. <clears throat> when I, but I'll, in the next day or two, I'll get that sign up thing out there. Right now, I'm trying to get my painty papers in the mail, so I have been concentrating on that. Is is there somebody else who needs to say they're ready? Is everybody, maybe I should say, is there somebody who's not ready? We'll wait on you if you're not ready. But if I don't hear somebody say they're not ready, then we're going to move on. Yeah, you can, um, you know, like the pages I'm doing in my fabric journal. You just do uh, something that would be like a page and you can do whatever you want to. But you're doing it, you know, on a piece of fabric so that. Uh, so that, that you can send it to somebody and they can put it in their book. But um, but it would be like making an art journal page out of fabric like I've been doing in my book. But you can do it however you want to as long as you use fabric and lace and yarns and thread and that kind of stuff. Okay, let's move on. Nobody said they're not ready, so we're going to keep going. Oops. This one says, use a stencil. Yes, watch Becky's um, video from last night. Yeah, I think it'll be fun, Janet. Use a stencil is number six. Okay. And somewhere I have a snowflake stencil, I think, if I could find it. Now, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> what am I going to do with it? Okay, I have some silver um, metallic texture paste, and I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna do in my my stencil. Okay. So let's. Let's see if we can
and I have to do this in a lot of places so it'll show up on all of the I've got to remember that, that I'm doing a bunch of little circles. Mm. Oh, shoot, just messed it up. Ooh. Trying to see if I need some more. I got more texture paste out here. Might as well use it. Yes, I'm going to be cutting these into coins, Janet. Uh. I need to <laughs> cut that part off. Because it's getting in my way. It's not like I hang it up anyway. Okay. Now, where was I going to put some? <laughs> I thought there was a place I needed some. Well, maybe not. Maybe all I need is, maybe that's all I need. I'm going to set this up here for a second. And I'm going to put a few on this page. Uh-oh. 
mess that one up. Okay. Okay, well, let that be that. And let's see if I can find something else that I want to put these on. I can't think of anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and put them on this other page. And then... Okay, now I just need to clean this up. Hi, Barb. I'm glad you're here. We're on um, number six in our pick ten. Hi, Patricia. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Susan. I'm glad you're here, even if it's only for a few minutes. We're doing a pick 10. Picking tomatoes. I wish I had tomatoes. Ours are just now beginning to grow. It's ridiculous. I don't know if we'll actually get any um, any to eat. Well, I mean, there have been a few, but not many so far. Okay, I'm going to draw this a little bit while we're waiting on everybody. Hi, Lizzie. I'm glad you're here. We're doing a pick 10. And we've done six prompts so far. Janet, would you put the prompts in so that they can see them if they want to see what we've done so far?
I'm jealous, Barb. 97 quarts. Wow. That is great. That is great. Well, here's what mine looks like so far. Well, you can't beat homegrown tomatoes. What's that old country song? Only two things in life that money can't buy. True love and homegrown tomatoes. <laughs> Thanks, Ruth. I'm liking it so far. I hope that the next four prompts don't mess it up. <laughs> Thanks, Arlene. We need to add napkins, please. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> We'll see, Linda. We'll see what comes up next. I promise if it says that, we will do it. Even if I don't want to. <laughs> but I don't want to add napkins. I'm trying to think what I could add. I guess I could just put a white napkin over it. And <laughs> but I don't really want to add napkins. Okay. Um, is everybody ready? I haven't noticed to see if anybody's, yeah, Becky's with me. She doesn't want any napkins either. I would add the white part. That's what I would do for sure. And hope it would disappear. Ruth says no napkins. Well, Linda, I'm afraid you're outnumbered. Nobody wants napkins but you. <laughs> Oh. I'd make it work too, Becky, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't want it. All right. This one says use metallic paints. Use metallic paints. And I just used metallic um, modeling paste. Kathy would be glad to have a napkin. So what am I going to do? And I've got that blue metallic paint already. So what do I do now with metallic paints? Yeah, I already did too, Linda. Um. I have some white metallic paint that I could splatter on here like snowflakes. I think that's what I'll do. Yep, Janet, we're thinking alike. Let me see if I can find my white metallic paint. <laughs> here it is. Metallic white. Okay. You can skip it if you want to, Ruby. Or whoever is... Um, yeah, I've got a bunch of metallic on here. But because this will work with what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and do it. But if you don't want to do it, you can just skip it since you've already got metallic paints. Um... I think I got way too much paint here. I was not thinking when I got that out. I'm not sure if I'm finding a brush that's going to work good. Maybe this synthetic brush will work good. It's not good for much else, so maybe it'll work for this. Whoops. Okay, let me stick something over the top of my computer so I don't get paint all over it. 
Oh, that's way too thick. Okay, let's go back and add some more water. <laughs> oh, goodness. This just made big blobs. Okay, let's try again here. Hi, Patricia. I'm glad you're here. See if I can thin this down enough that it'll splatter for me. Okay. It's like the, all the splatters are going to the same place. Well, it's over splattered in some places and not very splattered at all in other places. But we're going to call it good. And I'm going to clean up some of these splatters so I don't make a mess. Okay, um, some more paint for my wipe off book here. Let's see. I may just go over the top of those. Be a lot easier. This brush is just losing hairs like crazy. Okay. Now then, see if I can wipe a little bit off of the... We got Patricia and Patricia. I'm glad you're both here. Okay, I'm playing in my <laughs> playing in my painty paper book and I need to be drying my page. But I didn't want to waste it. I'm throwing that brush away. That's just not good. Uh. Okay. Hi, Joan. We're doing a pink tin. And um, I'm doing a, a Christmas or snow theme because I want to use this to make my artist trading coins that we're doing a swap in in my, um, in my Facebook group. Hi, 
Hi, Donna. Okay, that's a lot of drying. And it's probably still not dry, but this way maybe I won't ruin it. Whew. We're glad you're back, Vicki. I know, life interrupts, doesn't it? <laughs> if we could just always do art, that would be great. <laughs> oh, I don't know if you heard me say welcome, Donna, when, when I was in the middle of drying. I don't know if that, can, if my... If it picked up or not, but I'm glad you're here. Yes, Jim is a, a gym. Janet is a gym. <laughs> And we are so grateful that she takes care of keeping up with that stuff for us. Thanks, Donna. Um, I'm, I'm doing a um, an artist trading coin swap in my Facebook group. And so I'm trying to, I've got, this is my third one of these that I didn't do in a journal. Usually I do my pick tens in a journal, but, um, but this, for the next, and I've got one more to do because we're trading four coins. So I'm wanting to make sure I get get four of them done. I want them all to be different. So I don't know what the fourth one's going to be. It may just be potluck like the first one was. But anyway, we will um, we'll see what what happens next week in the continuing saga of the artist coin backgrounds <laughs> okay we still got a few more people who are um getting their metallic paint on yes janet does she looks after us i don't know what we do without her she's not allowed to get sick or um go on vacation or anything <laughs>
small white metallic paint. And I just wiped my forehead. I've probably got white metallic paint all over my forehead now. Okay, so we've got seven people that are ready. Anybody else ready that hasn't said you're ready? I understand if you're still drying because mine probably could still use some more drying, but I got tired of holding that heat gun. Yes, Patricia, that's how we all feel. <laughs> it's okay for just to watch, Donna. There are a lot of people who are watching and aren't even chatting, and that's okay too. But I do enjoy the people who chat, so I know who's I know you're here. That makes it more fun for me. But sometimes you're busy doing stuff while you're watching and you can't chat very much. So I know what that's like. Okay, Patricia, hopefully we'll still be here. <laughs> you just keep blushing, Janet. You deserve everybody's thanks. You really do. Okay, I think we had two or three more people who need to, um, oh, be, I wondered where Mary was. Well, I know she's been, she wanted to change some things in her video, and it's hard trying to put one back together when, you, when you're trying to take stuff out of it and add in new stuff, but I bet it'll turn out great because she always does good videos. Oh, Sherry, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Yes, Arlene, that's exactly right. You've got planar glue and you can't type. That's um, We're praying for you, Sherry. I'm sure, sure hoping you'll get better quickly. But we're glad you chose to, to watch and um, kind of take your mind off of it. At least that always works for me to watch somebody's videos and take my mind off of how I'm feeling. Okay, is everybody finished and ready to move on to the next prompt? I think we had a few people who still hadn't said they were ready yet. Almost. Okay, that's fine, Kimberly. Oh, I did get some... <laughs> I got some white paint right up here, even though I tried to cover everything up. Oh, Danny's ready. Okay, so that makes eight. So we still got a couple more people who aren't ready yet. That's all right. It's been a long day, so I'm, I'm happy to just sit for a minute. <laughs> okay, all my painty papers are in the envelopes. Now to get the Addies and send them out. Well, that's fine, Mark. That's fine. I'm not sure what day Friday is, but I think it's like the 21st. Yeah, I think it's the 21st and the 22nd is when we're supposed to have them out. So you'll be doing great to get them out on Friday. Don't fret about it till then. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Kimberly's ready. Is there anybody who's not ready? We want to wait on you if you're not ready, but we don't want to be sitting here if everybody's ready. That sounds good, Mark. Just a wee bit. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. One more out of this one. Oops, I picked up two. Okay, I'm going to give them both to you. You can use which one you want because I picked them up at the same time. Use turquoise or add glitter to paint. And if you've got glitter paint, you could just use that. So use turquoise or add glitter to paint. Or you can combine them and add glitter to your turquoise. So that's going to be prompt number eight. You can choose. Add glitter to paint or use turquoise. Okay, I got to decide what I want to do. I have some glittery paint, but none of it's what I want to use on here. So, what should I do? I don't want to use turquoise. So I got to figure out some some glitter something. Um, I think I'm going to cheat, and instead of yes, use stickles. That'll be fine. Instead of adding glitter to paint, I'm going to use glitter glue because I have some that's iridescent and it won't add more color. So I'm going to use glitter glue instead of get glitter paint. If I can find it. If I can find it. Huh. Well, I thought it was right there, and it's not. Where did I put it? Well, maybe I just thought that's what I was going to do. Okay, well, instead of doing that, I'm going to use a glitter marker because I don't have any glitter paint and I don't want to use turquoise. Good night, Joan. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I'll put it in the description box below the video. I'll put the prompts in there so you can go back and you can just look at it and see what they were instead of having to watch through the video to find them. Okay. Now what am I going to do? Now that I've got something glittery, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> no. Okay, I think I'm just going to add some little silver star kind of things. I'm not even sure what you'd call them, like an asterisk. <laughs> I 
Oh, I already had one there. Use turquoise or add glitter to paint or use glitter, glitter whatever. Just use some kind of glitter or use turquoise. <laughs> That's what it amounts to. Because we all have different kinds of glitter, but I'm using a glitter pen because it's what I've got that's glittery, that's close to paint. Um... I may have done all I'm going to do. I think I've got them distributed pretty well here. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. Um, everybody, well, a lot of people do. <coughs> and if you're in um, Aunt Beck's group, you can uh, post them in there in her Facebook group. Or if you're in my Facebook group, you can post them there. Um, I think you're in my Facebook group, aren't you, Vicki? That's where most people post them. I would love for you to post it there. If you're not in my group, um, we would love for you to join. But I'm, I was thinking you were in my group. Mine is on actually chipboard, a, a thin kind of chipboard. Um, I'm not sure it's probably, I'm not sure even where I got it. It's a little bigger than the paper pad. Well, it might could have been a paper pad, but it doesn't feel quite as sturdy as a paper pad would be. But that's what this one's on. Usually I do them in a, in a junk journal, but, um, I made some junk journals, in fact, just to do pick tens in. But I'm trying to get these ready for the um, for the swap, and so I'm doing them on this. Um, it's about the thickness of well, it's maybe not quite as thick as tag board, but it's um, it's a chipboard kind of thing. <laughs> I'm gonna dry for a second.
Well, Sarah, um, I wish you were on Facebook, and but I understand um, why you might not be. I resisted Facebook for years and years. And <laughs> the only reason I actually got on Facebook was because of these art groups, um, because of Becky's group and a couple of others. And I thought, I'm just going to do that. And that's, I, I very rarely post anything to my um, my homepage. Most everything I do is in my group or Becky's group or one or two others. Um, so I sure understand why why you might not be on Facebook, but this is one, one cool thing about the, about Facebook is the ability to post things like this. And it's actually the reason that I started my group was just because people were wanting to place to post their pick tens. So, um, I haven't been doing a group very long. Okay, Kathy. Um, yeah, you can get them and I be sure to post and have a great night. Okay, we've got two more to go. Let me know when you're ready. Kimberly's ready. Ruth's ready. I didn't see if anybody said they were ready up above, but. Yeah, I, once in a while, I'll post um, something going on in the family. But most of the time, my kids don't like their pictures being posted. And so I don't post them. Except when we went on a trip, we posted a few pictures. But mostly all I do is the art um, as far as Facebook's concerned. So. And Barb just joined my group today. Thank you, Barb. Was it today? I think it was today. Yes, Janet, thank you. Post the link. Okay, I've seen five or six people who are ready. Uh, let me go back and look. Ruth's ready. Becky's ready. Holly's ready. Sarah's ready. Danny's ready. Linda's ready. And Kathy's leaving, and um, so I guess we have eight people now. Oh, yeah, I have an Instagram um, account, but I, I rarely look at it, and I don't post things there very often. I do post a few things, but um, but not many. I'm, I'm too lazy to post everywhere. Some people post everywhere, and I, I'm just too lazy to do that. <laughs> Oh, did you spill it, Lisa? That's the worst thing about glitter. That's why I like glitter pens and glitter paint and glitter stuff so that it's not, um, so that it doesn't end up being glitter everywhere. Uh, I'm sorry that happened. Pretty but evil, yeah. <laughs> well, there are a lot of bad things about glitter, that's for sure. Oversplash. Okay, well, that's not so bad. I, I could just see a bottle of glitter, you know, fluttering everywhere. Yeah, the gift that keeps on giving. That's true. Okay, is everybody fit, ready now? I think I counted seven, and I know we had two that had to leave, so that means that eight. Okay, Sarah, we're going to call you number eight, <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and move on. Okay. Use buttons. I do not want to use buttons. Um, But I will if everybody wants to. Well, this probably should be saved um, 
tell me if you don't want to use buttons. Skip, 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 skip. Okay, we're going to skip buttons. We'll put it right up here with whatever I did with the other one that we skipped. All right, let's find another one. Doodle in silver. I just did that. Do we want to skip silver too? Or do you want to doodle in silver? Okay, Linda did that. Lisa did that. So we're going to skip it because we've already done that. <laughs> Becky's pretty full of silver already. Okay, add words. Add words. Well, I may doodle in silver after all if I'm going to add words because that's what I'll what I'll do it with. Add words, Ruth. We we repicked. <laughs> We picked a new one that says add words. Lisa's happy. She says, yes. Okay, good. I'm glad somebody's happy. I'm going to see if this will draw on here. I don't know how many of these words are going to be seen, but anyway. But I'm adding them. I'm adding them. Let's see. Where else I have space to add more words? I'm just writing the same words over and over and over. <laughs> it didn't tell you how many words you have to add. <laughs> Thanks, Ruby. Okay. Trying to see. Oh, I lost the chat again.
I think I may have written it as many times as I want to write. Well, we'll do one more right here. Okay, I'm going to call that good. Oh, that's glaring. Sorry. Good grief. <laughs> Let's see if I can stick something under it. Maybe that'll keep it from glaring so bad. Nope, that doesn't. Oops. Bye-bye, Vicki. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you're here. Okay, Lisa's ready, Ruby's ready, Danny's ready. Ruth's ready. Sarah's ready. <coughs> Good night, Arlene. Thanks for coming. Holly's ready. That makes six. Becky's mostly ready. Linda's ready. Seven, eight. Okay. Kimberly's ready. So I think that's everybody. Janet, is that what you think? Oh, just seven. Okay. I didn't count good. Okay, eight ready. And I think eight's all we've got now since everybody's, um, since several people had to leave. Okay, let's see. Okay, I'm making an executive decision. Um, and we're going to choose one more to go with this one like we've done twice already tonight. It says use yarn. Now, I might use yarn on these after they're punched out. But I'm not going to use yarn on it at this place. Um, so I'm willing to use yarn if y'all are if y'all want to use yarn. But I'm not going to use it until I get them punched out into circles. So what do you think? Do you want to keep this one or do you want to choose a second one? Okay, Linda doesn't want to use yarn, so we'll choose another one that she can do. And if you want to use yarn, you can use yarn. And if you don't, you don't have to. This one says doodle in gold. Is that any better? Is doodle in gold any better? It's not for me. <laughs> but nope, it's not any better. All right. All right, let's let's skip that and and go on to another one says use black and white image. Is that any better? Lisa Lane already did. Is a black and white image better? We could just call it a night at nine <laughs> or make number 10 a wild card. 
How about that? Let's make number 10 a wild card. I'll just make an executive decision. Number 10 is wild card. Do whatever you want. You can stop or you can use one of these that I pulled that we dis disregarded or you can do whatever you want. Um, because I'm using mine on um, coins and I'm going to, I'll show you what I'm going to add to them. Just a second. Uh, I'm going to add some of these to mine once I make the coins. Um, okay, use napkins. There you go. <laughs> yeah, number 10 is wild card. This is what I'm going to put on mine after I get them. At least I think. I don't know if this will be too big. I'm trying to decide if I should paint these white or um, silver or leave them natural or blue. What do y'all think? Anybody have ideas? They're little wooden snowflakes. Would you paint them white or silver or blue or leave them natural? Mark says no. No doesn't tell me anything, Mark. No to what? <laughs> Emboss them. Ooh. Metallic black. Hum. I'm going to go ahead and let me get my punch and punch one out so we can see how big it's going to be because I think these will. I do have a um, this metallic white that I could use. I've also got metallic silver um, and I've got a metallic blue. I guess I could do some of each <laughs> because I can, but I was thinking they needed to be painted something. Silver emboss, which would be really cool if I had some silver embossing stuff and I don't, but that would be good. Let me get my punch. Just a second. Okay, now I'm going to hope that this will even punch um, this board. I haven't tried it. <laughs> Why is it not coming back out? Okay, well, it's not. Maybe that'll do it. No. It's not cutting all the way through right there. Hmm. That doesn't make me happy. It's like there's a flaw in it. I'm going to have to use a I don't have my cutting board under there, so I'm trying to be. So this is what they're going to look like, approximately. And then let's. Um... Oh, 
Okay. What is your idea, Janet? Glittery blue. I kind of think so too, Katie. Because the there's the dark blue is there's a lot less of it than anything else. I'm waiting, Janet. You retracted your message. Don't do that. Now I want to know what you said. <laughs> What's your idea, Janet? Don't keep me in suspense. Let's see if I can get a, another one to punch out. Whoa. Well, that one sounded good. It came out really good, too. I'll punch out some more while we're waiting on Janet. Everybody's in suspense, Janet. Uh, where did I get the snowflakes? <laughs> Let me look. They look like this. That's the, I, I want to say um, Michael's, but I'm not 100% positive. I bought them a while back. Oh, thank you, Ruby. Get some sleep. Did you want me to do something before I punched it, Janet? Was that because I didn't I didn't understand that or I wouldn't have punched? There's another one that didn't punch. Oh, okay. Yeah, that my main problem is um getting it to punch completely. It's like it. You can hear it. It makes a like a double sound when it punches good. Oh, you're welcome, Lisa. Thank you for joining us. And I think I'm going to skip the um, the fabric journal tonight because we've already been on here for over three hours. And the, the project I had in mind will take a lot longer than it probably take an hour itself. So I don't want to. Um, I don't want to go for another hour. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. It's like it's, I don't know. 
why it was working and now it's not. I don't understand. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these, but I think this is enough of these. I only have four swap partners, or I only signed up to do four. But I may put some of these in with my um, my painty paper swap or something. Okay, I probably won't, Lisa, because um, I would want to finish it tonight, and I just I can't stay. I didn't sleep good last night either, so I don't want to stay up another hour to do it. Um, I may need to um, just start the pick tens right at seven in order to be able to, um, or do my uh, fabric journal first. I don't know because the pick tens take so long. Um, if I wait to start till 7.30, which is what I usually do. And today I started even later than that because I was doing those envelopes. Um, we'll have to see. Maybe tomorrow. Well, that's an idea. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four for my... And then one, two, three, four, five. I need to do at least one more if I'm going to put them in with my painty paper swap. Okay, um, I have enough of these I could do nine different kinds. But I thought I would give each of my swap um, partners in the coin swap a different one. So I could do one silver, one white, one blue. But I think the blue idea, um, maybe I could do blue and then splatter some white paint on the blue ones. I don't know. Um, but I may make some of these to go in my um, painty paper swap. No, then I would have to do them now because I want to send them tomorrow. Oh, okay. Let's do that because I do want to do that. So let's, um, I just decided that's what I want to, <laughs> that's what I want to add in. So now I need to paint these. Y'all can stay and watch me paint them if you want. But don't feel obligated to. I'm just going to paint six of them because the rest of them can um, can be done at a later time, since that swaps not till October. It won't take me very long to paint them. Um. Okay, let me ask this while you're still here. Which blue would, do you think I should paint? This one's called Ice Blue, and this one is called Blue Sapphire. Thanks, Becky. Ice Blue, Becky says. Okay. 
well, we'll at least paint one that way and we'll, and we'll maybe paint one the darker blue and we'll see what we think. And uh, maybe I'll paint one white. Where did I put Here's the white. We'll just test it out here. I need a brush. Okay. Good night, Ruth. Yeah, post your picture in the morning. Oh, I got too much paint in there and it's clogging up the. Okay. There's one that's in the ice blue. And it's going to be hard for y'all to see the differences, I think, in the ice blue and the white because, at least for me, it doesn't seem to show up. Um, the ice blue doesn't really show up much on the screen when I look at it on the screen. Here's the darker blue. Here's the ice blue. Um, yeah, I like the sapphire blue. It really shows up. This one just doesn't really show up much. Um, ooh. This one got really goopy on the back. I think I like the darker blue, but let's try a white one just to be, just to be sure. Darker is better. I think everybody thinks that too. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and um, paint one white real quick, just, just so we can say we tested them. <laughs> then I may end up painting them all dark blue. Now let me find a brush to paint. White. Oh, no. Well, that's a bummer. These are very delicate. <laughs> if you do this, don't squeeze. I may have to do it down here just to keep from breaking it. There's a white one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to edge the coins. I thought about edging the coins in the dark blue and doing the snowflakes in the white. But um, I 
I could edge them in silver. Whoops. I lost the chat again. Yeah, the sapphire looks really pretty. Um, and it looks real, you know, the metallic-y kind of gives it a, a white sheen to the top of the blue that I don't know if you can see that. But that looks really good, I think. Yeah, I agree with you, Denny. I think I still like the dark blue the best, too. So, um, let's just go ahead and paint this one blue, too. Woo! Okay, there's three. Now, what color do you think I should edge them in? Well, I keep losing the chat. Silver edge. Well, that's kind of what I thought, too. Okay. That's what I will do. It's funny because they're drying lighter. Um. But it still looks pretty. That one may be drying lighter because I put it over the white. Let's do another little bit of the blue. But they're drying lighter than they look when they're um, when they're wet. Okay. Oh, I need to do one more. Um. Dude, this one, it's a classic snowflake shape. Okay. I like those. Oh, no, I don't mind, Mitzi. I don't mind at all. Okay. I need to probably take these off and let them dry <laughs> before I put them on there. Okay. And that one's broken. Um, I might can put it on the edge of something, but it won't work for this. Oh, I'm just getting paint all over myself. Okay, now to edge these in the silver. Let me find some silver. I know I have some. Okay. Uh, let me put this paint. Let me put this paint on my book here real quick. Let's put the white down first. And then we'll do this lighter blue. Don't want to waste the pretty paint. And then we'll edge them in silver after I can get get this paint off. 
Don't want to waste it. Makes me want to get out some more paint just so I can finish painting this page pretty, but I'm not going to. The point of it is to. I'll add, maybe I'll add some silver because there'll probably be some of that left. Okay. Now then, silver. All right, now then, how to do this. Um, I'm not sure how to. It's like making a painty rim, which I'm not sure I want. Anybody have a better idea of how to, how to, how to edge this with the silver? I don't guess the painty rim is bad. I just, it wasn't in my plan. Q-tip. You know, um, I'm going to show this to you in a second, but I'm I'm kind of liking it. Um, ah, I don't know if you can see that, but it really is making a an edge around it, and I kind of like it. Um, I think I'm kind of liking that. I'm afraid if I roll it in the paint, I'll even get more of an edge on it. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Because it turned out to look kind of cool. Just to add some, a little bit more dimension to it. I need to be putting these on some um, wax paper, though. Otherwise, they're going to dry to the paper. That would not be good. Stick down to my under paper. I would be very unhappy tomorrow. Okay. Crisis averted. Thanks, Mitzi. Yeah, go take care of your doggy. <coughs> I'm kind of ready to go too, but I do want to get this done so I can add these into my painting paper packages tomorrow. Are y'all still here? I can't believe there's still 18 of you sitting there watching me do this. <laughs> you must be as near comatose as I am and you're just too lazy to turn off the video. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kimberly. Thanks for coming. 
You sleep well too. Okay, just two more and I can stop doing dishes. Okay, well, I don't guess there's not much exciting going on here, so you won't have any trouble paying attention to your dishes. But I do kind of like the, um, I don't know, it gives it kind of a metallic, um, like a, like it got cut out of a can or something. I don't know. It's interesting. Five. One more. There's six. Alrighty. Now I gotta put paintbrushes in. Oh no, I need to I need to put some paint on my book. Oh. Oh, no, that's not going to work. It's looking for some. Well, I can't find it. We'll just hope it doesn't stick down because. Oh, thank you. I really think that I'm liking these coins. I, it's fun. Um, I'm glad I decided to do my pick tens as a way to build the backgrounds for them because I'm really liking the way they're turning out so far. I'm just trying to get use this paint up. Don't want to waste any. And then we're all going to go home and go to bed. Okay. I'll almost almost use this up. Okay. There's my painty paper book pages. The bonus. <laughs> I need to put these in water. 
Oh, okay. I appreciate y'all coming out tonight and watching. And those of you who played along, uh, thank you for doing that. That makes it so much more fun for me. I can't wait to see everybody post their stuff. I'm going to let you all go. I'm going to say good night. Trying to get my hands a little bit cleaner here so I can turn off the computer. <laughs> oh, goodness. Thank you, Danny. Uh, thank you so much. I thank all of you for watching. And um, I think they turned out cute, too. I can't wait to see what y'all did. God bless you and good night, everyone.